Hey everybody, it's Gail. I am so sorry that um, I'm late doing this uh, plan with me um, from the design group this week. Actually, I have not been feeling well all this week and I have been trying very hard to physically feel better all this week because next week is extremely, extremely important week for our family and that includes um, my daughter-in-law Bronwyn's family as well as my son Brian's family. Uh, so this is my layout for this week. I really could not think or come up with anything, a, a, a good idea for a really pretty layout. And then I just didn't do anything because I just didn't have the energy. So last night I remembered that I had this. And this is, excuse me, I'm filming this by hand. This is by, let me move this up a little bit. This is by Anna Griffin. Griffith, is it Griffin? Griffin. Anna Griffin. See? And what they are, are flower cutouts. And I bought these a couple of years ago on Amazon. Let's see if I can pull some out. They're kind of hard to pull out. My husband was in the kitchen unattended, and he kind of did not clean up after himself. You know how men are. Okay, see if I can pull out. Okay, some of them. Okay. So on the top, you get these labels. And it's the uh, happy birthday just, just for you. Um, I love you. Thank you, dear friend, um, thinking of you for my family. And it goes on with these nice um, condol um, warm wishes. You know, you see what I'm saying. So it's got these page flags with these uh, thank you, these nice um, things. And there's several pages of them. And then you get into the flowers. Well, the flowers you just... Um, Simply punch out, like again, I'm trying to do this one-handed. So, um, see? And then here's the, uh, the flower right here. So, um, I had forgotten that I had ordered these from Anna Griffin on HSN several years ago, and they had been sitting in my closet. Well, last night I was standing in my closet looking through all my papers and stickers and scrapbooking and planning stuff, and my mind was just blank. How do I plan my planner this week when um, all I've got my mind on is next week? And feeling better. I have got some kind of a sinus thing going on. And um, I've got to get rid of it. I've got to get rid of it by next week. So um, I punched out these flowers. And I thought they were just gorgeous um, for the end of summer. You know, Monday is Labor Day. And they come with these, um, these vases are also die cuts too. So I just made a little arrangement at the flowers and glued a little vase down in my planner. And you see, um, not a whole lot went on. I finished boiling my bushel of boiled peanuts. Here I put not feeling well. We had tacos and salad for dinner. Um, you know my name. My Dr. Drew and Nancy Grace, I have to watch that. Um, Big Mike was in class all day on Tuesday. Um, yesterday was also a lazy day. I'm still resting and trying to get better before next week. I have got to get ready, get better before next Thursday. It is imperative. And 
Um, not much, just my regular shows. Anyway, you're getting the drift of it. Uh, but there's a sticker book that I want to work on with my um, Mambi stickers. I want to create a sticker book from the, um, oh gosh, um, I can't think of those plastic um, inserts that you can put in. Um, anyway, I bought some of those, and I'm going to make um, sticker books, a sticker book out of the extended, um, I can't think at all, extended coils, and make a um, sticker book for my Happy Planner stickers. I haven't done that. I think I'm going to do that while this video is loading. <coughs> um, today... Mike had class until 2 o'clock. My Planner Society box arrived. Um, I was supposed to film and upload this video that I'm doing right now and go to the grocery store, which I did not do because I'm still... Um, I just feel kind of weak and my legs feel heavy and I'm just, I've got this sinus thing going on. I'm just not feeling well. Uh, today was trash day. Uh, so, this is um, tomorrow. Tomorrow hasn't come yet. Um, it's uh, Tomorrow is Thursday, which means in seven days, our second granddaughter, for me, will be my second grandchild. And... Um, my daughter-in-law Bronwyn's family's new granddaughter will be born uh, in seven days. And I started counting down. There's Elena, five days. Elena in four days. And uh, this is uh, the rest of um, this week that I have not um, filled in yet because it hasn't happened yet. But... Um, we're going to um, go on over here to September, and I might plan this, I'm sorry, I might plan this some, um, I'm used to being on a tripod, please pardon me. Um, so, September starts next week, and you know that um, Labor Day is, excuse me, the 5th. Labor Day is September 5th, which is the first Monday in September. And Bronwyn, my daughter-in-law, and Brian are going to have their baby on September 1st. And we are all excited, and we're all counting down the days, and we're just um, jumping for joy. And I uh, can't wait. And then on um, September 9th, on Grandparents' Day, we are going to meet um, Ariana at her school for breakfast for Grandparents' Day with our grandchildren. So looking forward to that. So um, this next week, I am making a special trip to Hobby Lobby, and I am so glad and grateful that this uh, page is done in a baby, baby girl pink. So, I want to go to Hobby Lobby and buy some papers and stickers for a special themed baby week for next week, because Thursday, again... September 1st is the big day, and also, let's flip a couple of weeks over, we have another big birthday this month, Saturday, September 17th, a couple of weeks from now, will be mine and my twin brother's 57th birthday, and also Big Mike's 26th birthday and 
if my mother were still alive, it would be her, let me see, either 86th or 87th birthday, because she was born September 17th, 1930. My twin brother and I were born September 17th, 1959, and Big Mike was born September 17th, 1990, and at first, we thought that our new little Elena might possibly be born on September 17th, which would be, you know, more than a coincidence, I think, but uh, Bronwyn told me later that her original due date was the 14th, but it's still in the same week, week so it still counts. So, um, I just wanted to do this really, really quick. I'm going to do my um, plan with me for next week early because um, I'll probably go to do it before the week is out as soon as I go to Hobby Lobby and get that done and preloaded to, to um, schedule it for Sunday night because I hope to be busy. All next week, I've got some more baby shopping to do and anything that I can do to help my daughter-in-law and my son, Brian, and our, my granddaughter, other granddaughter, Ariana, help to get ready and things settled and organized for Elena to come into the world. I'd like to help them. So... I want to do some more shopping, and I want to buy a special gift for Ariana, since she is going to be a big sister, and this is a big, big deal, because Ariana is eight, and she knows a lot, a lot of things that she can teach her baby sister, so um, she's got a very big job, and it's an honor to be a big sister. I was the baby sister. I was the youngest. Uh, my twin brother and I were the youngest children in my family. So, But I have a big sister. She's seven years older than me. So, um, yeah, I remember the good days. Some bad, some good. And we still get along. You know, she's my big sister, and I love her. So she's kind of my um, go-to girl. Even though, yes, yeah, sometimes we have our bad days, but that's what sisters do. Anyway, I just wanted to put this up for you real quick. I'm going to raise this camera as high as I can. So excuse the mess around around the planner. Like I said, it was a free-for-all for dinner tonight, and I need to go to the grocery store tomorrow. So, um... That is my layout for this week, and I will see you all later. I hope you have a great the rest of the week and a great weekend, and I will have my next week's baby girl, Elena, new grandbaby, all done in baby pink and baby, new baby frilly things, and I'm going to fill out until... Thursday, I've got to, we've got to find out what time to be at the hospital, and when Elena is born, I will put in here what time she, her, she was born, what her middle name is, which I don't even know, and how much she weighed and how many inches long she is, and um, so I really want to do a really pink baby, newborn baby um, thing. And I want to take some um, pictures of Ariana and her new sister. And um, I will be able to put them in the planner because I bought the Polaroid Zip camera. And it takes pictures, but if you peel the backing off of the picture, it makes a sticker. So I can put, uh, they're two by three pictures, and I can make um, stickers to put in the book this week of Ariana and Elena, 
meeting and getting to know each other and I can put this in the book and years later I hope that the grandkids can come back and look through these books and see what their grand did with herself back in the olden days in their terms <laughs> so this is a yeah, this is currently 2016, but by the time Ariana is 17, 18 years, years old, we're going to be back in the day. So, um, anyway, y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. I'm sorry, and I apologize again for getting this video up late. But again, I have really been feeling um, pretty, here's the southern slang, pretty poorly. Um, most of this week. All right, y'all have a great week, and I'll talk to y'all next week and fill you all in on our new grandbaby. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.